LPT learn to know why on top of learning how? Maybe a common one. But I see many people don't applying this in practice. By knowing how, you'll know how to do some tasks. By knowing why on top of how, you can improve the workflow. Transfer the knowledge to other similar tasks. Know when some practice can be skipped or some rule to be broken. Or more. Such as when pilot breaks some rule to handle unexpected situation. Example is Olympic Airways Flight 411. When the pilot retract the gear without sufficient altitude and speed. In order to gain more speed for the upcoming hill. I remember a website with the slogan good chefs know how but great chefs know why. This is one of the things that drove me insane about some of my college courses. In some biochem classes, they would teach us the how, but neglect the why. And I remember a few times when someone asked the why. We were told it's above our knowledge level. We'd learn the why when we went for our masters. I feel like I have so much incomplete knowledge because of the way classes were structured. I think people would follow certain rules better if they knew the why too. Anytime you're around a public pool there's always a sign that says no glass containers and you probably figure they don't want broken glass on the pool deck. Actual reason. Broken glass at the bottom of a pool is basically invisible and would cut people's feet all day. To make a decision like that, you need to know the why of the rule, not just how. Excellent advice and I wish more people took this approach to learning. Don't memorize understand. I agree wholeheartedly. Unfortunately, in my experience, If you are not self-employed, it can make your professional life quite a bit harder to navigate lol. But I do very much believe you should know why you are doing stuff. In my opinion most importantly on a personal level. Why am I doing this? Or why am I putting up with this? There can be very valid reasons but never stop asking yourself these questions. This is sort of how it worked with me in the beginning. I asked my boss to show me how to perform the task. And then I researched why it had to be done that way and also ways to improve the process. Once I had secured the position of course. Awesome book Start With Why by Simon Sinek. When I always ask why to my chemistry teacher. She gets frustrated and told me don't ask stupid questions. And I asked her again why ha 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 I'm interested with chemistry way back but the teacher we had is a robot. She can't explain why on some things. Learning why can make you sound like a philosopher at parties. Often in training for jobs. I will say. Can you tell me why we do this? It'll help me remember to do it. I have 100 been met with sour looks and commands to just do it. Come to think of it it's weird how people don't question what they do. Even while working part time as a student whenever given a task or being taught how to do something. I'd ask what was the purpose of it. More often than not the answer was just because. I had a trainer that told us from the beginning training is divided into three steps how, when, why. First, he said I'm going to teach you how to do this. Then, I will teach you when to do each step. Only after you get those down. Can I teach you why? How makes you an engineer? Why makes you a program manager? I work in a paper mill running all kinds of machinery. And part of the job means teaching others how to run it too. One lesson I learned very early on was if you teach people why we do things as well as how to do them. They have an easier time not just learning the process. But troubleshooting the issues that may arise when things don't go as planned.
I get super upset when I hear some kids say why to their parents and only get a because I told you so in response. That kind of attitude really, really stunts kids in the realm of problem solving and hurts them later in life. You want your kids to think for themselves. Don't cultivate the opposite by only telling them to follow instructions. Good advice. And applies to all aspects of life. If you know why anything works then you can invent creative fixes that aren't in the manual. I've used this for mixing motorcycles and for knowing what kind and how an ingredient could alter the taste of a dish. This is totally true until it comes to a level maths. My memory got me an A. This is why higher education is so important and should be free. Knowing first principles allows you to tackle any situation that's thrown in front of you or to at least have some clue of where to start when you get a curveball. Or if you're like me you can't handle doing the how without knowing why skull it's either my hidden ADHD or something else but I have to know why. Not exactly what you're talking about. But certainly related. Those who know their why can endure almost any how. Viktor Frankl paraphrasing Friedrich Nietzsche. Knowing my why is how I put up with a boss who hasn't even gotten far enough to care about the how. You should also teach and coach the same way. We do invoice processing in mass quantities at my work and the amount of people who are incurious about why we do things is almost as astounding as the people who know and don't share. So why is Gamora and how is Gamora? And then when you ask why to the supervisor they take it as you are challenging MXD. As someone who works for a bank with Excel spreadsheets and all kinds of calculation tools to assist us, the reason behind the math is so much more important than knowing how to do each step. Calculations are generally made to be user-friendly. But figuring out what to do when you see an exceptional situation is most important. My go-to approach is what? Why and then how? Unless you fully understand what is being asked and why it is being asked how is pretty much shooting. Arrow is the dark. Learning the why in my job is always more important than the how. Because there are multiple valid hows. But usually only one why. By focusing on the why first. You can determine the best how that fits you and your work thought process. I've been a tech writer for nearly 40 years. Engineers always tell how but often omit why. Info which is central to deciding whether or not you should do something. Expertise comes from understanding the value proposition business value of a feature or procedure. Speed. Ease of use. Security. Robustness. And so on. I struggle with this. There doesn't seem to be a real rhyme or reason as to why some people seek out the why. And others are perfectly fine with how. And nothing more. I see dramatic differences even between my own kids. This has been a big driver in being successful in my career. And has served me very well. Knowing how makes me a driving force in making decisions and designing solutions. How did he die? I killed him. Why? He attacked me versus I'm a serial killer. Yeah. I guess the why does provide answers to a host of questions and context that how doesn't go over. But in general, I think why is only that valuable with ascertaining intention. Otherwise, I think why and how are somewhat intertwined. Like how water becomes water vapor easily includes the why sufficient heat was applied as part. Of the how. Bravo finally. A tip that can solve world hunger and cure my laziness. Most times the why just complicates things. Unless it's mathematics. Never ask a math teacher why. They don't know. It just is. 
My three-year-old is already very on top of this.